Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Sunday, July 19th at around 11 p.m. Mountain Time. Seismic update. And that is what we will be focusing on tonight, specifically Iceland. Iceland had an earthquake swarm that hit 9,000 quakes in just 10 days, ending on the 28th of June. Did you hear about this in the mainstream? It was in Newsweek. There was a blip. You're looking at it. And several other sources picked it up when it hit 5,000 quakes uh, earlier in the week. Here we are 17 days later, and the swarm is continuing. Another major quake. Uh, on the southern tip of Iceland at 5 magnitude, just kicked off four hours ago. 1.6 kilometers northwest of Fagrisfoll. And there is volcanic activity in the region. Here is the quake showing up on USGS at 4.5 mag, downgrade service. But before we continue tonight's podcast, I want to get you up to speed on the geology of Iceland and the regions we're going to be talking about. These red lines that come through the center of the country here, is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. It's a rift zone. It's a mid-ocean ridge that's spreading apart, similar to the Rift Valley in Africa. This one goes right through Iceland. So there are very few people living in this pink zone, which is tattered with numerous volcanic craters. Vantiokul, Kefiryokul, Semfinyokul, Orifiokul, Lagenfjartjönikul, Rekianus, Eyjafjall Jökull, Katala, on and on. Even Bardo Bunga, right down here. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Now, this mid-ocean ridge is spreading, and during magnetic reversals, it is suggested that these spreading ridges, the mid-ocean ridges, move faster than normal. There's an acceleration, perhaps, in some of the magmatic activity that is coming out here, which increases the spreading, increases seismicity in this zone, and then subsequently increases volcanic activity. We're going to be talking about the Tiernus fracture zone up here in the north. And that is where the earthquake swarm has occurred over the last month. Thousands, 10,000 plus earthquakes up in this region. They're predicting potentially magnitude 7.5 earthquake. And these are all just pre-shocks. Now, we also have Bartabunga activity here just south of Vantajokul, which is another volcano. Bartabunga is a historical volcano. I will discuss the history in just a moment. And then the newest volcano, Rakianus Ridge, the Rakianus volcano has becoming active. Inflation at the Rakianus Ridge, inflation at Bartabunga, all coinciding with over 10,000 earthquakes in the last month or so. Now, it all began, the major activity and why I'm doing this video, just a few days ago. Five days ago, two strong earthquakes hit Bartabunga. That was on July 14th. And earthquakes are happening because Bartabunga volcano continues to inflate and has been, add, as it has been doing since the end of the last eruption in February of 2015. So at some point, the magma will fill the chamber and there will be another eruption, triggered probably by some earthquake activity. But the ongoing earthquake activity is magma filling a chamber here and filling a chamber here. And this is back on July 14th. Now, let's go over some of the facts of Bartabunga. It's a stratovolcano up in Iceland. Last known eruption was in 2015. Historically, Bartabunga has erupted to VEI, wait for it, 6, back in 1477 during a grand minima. It has erupted at VEI 2 consistently and VEI 3 throughout the Maunder minimum. Numerous times, over a half a dozen. In fact, during the Maunder, 13 eruptions occurred. And around nine of them, magnitude VEI 1 to 3. And then again, came active, look at this, during the centennial minimum, another phase. So clearly this volcano is activated during cosmic ray events and low solar activity. We're entering one the, 
lowest solar activity since any of these times. So it is our prediction and has been for three years or longer that Bartabunga is going to erupt and in a big way. So there's that. Now, yesterday, two strong earthquakes north of Grindjavik town, which is where the Rakianis Ridge is, the far western tip, southwestern tip of Iceland, has been active for all year. We've been calling this as another major volcanic event. There was a magnitude 3.2 and a magnitude 4.1. The strongest earthquakes rather shallow, 2.5 kilometers in depth. This is indicative of magma filling a region and the surface crust cracking. So that happened yesterday. And now today, earthquakes swarm on the Reykjanes volcano. Take a look at the uptick here. Over the last few hours, there has been an earthquake swarm close to the mountain called Fagrastalsfell, or close to the volcano called Reykjanes. At the writing of this article, no, no earthquake with a magnitude M.2.0 have happened. So it's all less than mag 2 yet a swarm nonetheless. And that is indicative of magma filling in the southern region. So we have magma filling underneath Bartabunga. We have ma in the cent center of Iceland, we have magma filling under a volcano in southwestern Iceland. And that is the Reykjanes volcano, which is primary volcano type is crater rose. These are calderic, similar to the uh, rift volcanoes. Uh, in Africa. And again, this is on the southwestern tip. Now, Reykjanes volcano's last major eruption was back in 1830 during the Dalton Minimum. Historic observations, two during the Dalton, and then a Maunder Minimum eruption there. Now, this has only been seen, the Reykjanes go up as high as VEI 3 or 4. So we're looking at a VEI 3 or 4 eruption from the Reykjanes Ridge, followed by a VEI 4 to 6 from Bartabunga. And all the while, the northern Tiernus fracture zone is going crazy. They have seen over 10,000 earthquakes in the northern Tiernus fracture zone, northern Iceland, in the last six weeks. And we're talking. A high number of MAG-3, MAG-4, and MAG-5. And more earthquakes with magnitude M3 or greater can't be ruled out, and there remains a risk of an earthquake with magnitude 7 or greater going to happen in this area. These are prequakes, folks. So there's a major er uh, uptick in tectonic activity on this mid-ocean ridge here at the Reykjanes Ridge, the Reykjanes Volcano, here on the ice cap where Bartabunga is right here underneath the ice, which would cause massive joculips, which are epic. The largest floods in, on Earth because these volcanoes erupt under an ice cap, melt huge volumes, an ocean of water, which then gets ejected from the bottom of the sheet here into the ocean. So totally amazing things happening. Up in the Tiernus Fracture Zone, we have major 10,000 earthquakes happening over the last six weeks. M7 magnitude or greater in this region is probable. Hope you got something out of the video. Lots of seismic activity and uptick worldwide, specifically Iceland, and, and very few reasons to uh, explain it, except, well, I think I have one. Period. Now, what we do know is that the magnetic field since about 1600 has been waning. And at 1850, it really kicked, kicked off into descent. And by 2000, we were losing 5, 10% per decade. And the numbers have been increasing. Take a look. 1850, 2000, 2010, 2015. Boom! Straight down. Now, therein lies the problem. We're living in a magnetic excursion, potentially a magnetic reversal, which is causing some of the highest cosmic ray counts in modern times, the highest in hundreds of years, in modern times. It's the modern cosmic ray maximum. 
and the waning magnetosphere will continue. Weather is going to get very unpredictable as the jet streams break down for the rest of your life. Seismic activity will increase, and most importantly, volcanoes that have never erupted for hundreds of years are going to start erupting, just like Bartabunga, just like Reykjanes. So look for an eruption in this tip of Iceland coming soon, an eruption underneath of the ice sheet happening anytime soon, and a large earthquake up in the North Turinus Fracture Zone coming soon to an Iceland near you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And keep an open mind to science. And that's a boom to knowledge. Be safe. We love you. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our Patreons, our four new Patreons just this week. Without you, we could not produce these videos. We could not make this happen. So we thank each and every one of you from the bottom of our hearts. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below. And be safe.